Okay, so today we are going to look at the uh, the top four players in Chinese server. So this is basically just uh, two battles, and uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to stream the final battle. So it's going to be 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. So yeah, tomorrow the final battle is going to be uh, this Shoba Wang or God K is playing this account versus Jian 33 So uh, actually, this player is very yeah. He's using a like a kind of a weird box. We will see that in a minute. Yeah, it is amazing that he made his way here. And uh, the very ag aggressive player promises here lost his battle. So this is a 2 over 0. So yeah, let's just uh, start with how promises lost his battle. So here, let's see. Yeah, this Jian 33. Um, he's using kind of a... Uh, oh, he changed the... Oh, okay. Virash is in is in his team now, yeah, and uh, uh, he's using Angelina. He's using Detroit. Also, this new character uh, Iris is in his team as well. So a lot of orange of light faction and uh, a lot of land use faction as well. So right now we can see, uh, yeah. So right now we can see that. Uh, this is really a battle between Landius and Juggler in Aggressor Mobile Season 3. Yeah, so you either go with the Juggler faction or you go with Landius. Uh, very rarely players go without them. The only other case is that they would use Astail, but uh, most of the case they will still pick Juggler or Landius. So if we check uh, Promises team, uh, he keep his um, very offensive style, yeah. We can see his Leon is still in the box, and uh, yeah, he has Zareda, he has Claret. Um Yeah, those are very like long height characters, and also Angelina. So we will see. So they both banned Landius, which means like although Juggler is very very aggressive, uh, he has a very very strong three cost skill. People still fear a little bit more with Landius. So again, both player decided to play a Zareda team. And uh, in this case, whereas like a promises banned juggler, uh, GM33 banned land use, uh, banned claret plus he hey. Very interesting. So both sides actually pick the use key as the second um, second pick. Yeah, this just suggests the materialist is very, very, you know, it's very, very accurate, right? This is the SS character, SS character in materialist. And uh, Leon Hard is next level. Yeah, it's like one level below. So they are pick and picking and banning exactly according to my tier list. Yeah, Angelina is also SS tier. Um, Detroit, another SS tier. Listail, another SS tier. Yeah, those are all SS tier characters. Yeah, SS tier Liana. SS tier Liana. <laughs> very, very symmetrical match. So if you if you ask me, I would say um I feel like I feel like a second player has a better chance to win. Uh I mean luck is definitely going to count. Wow, wow. This is crazy. This is uh this is like Jen 33 used this Zareda to counter promises first pick Zareda. This is a uh, catapult plus Wooler's for Zareda. So again another time. Uh I think the last time we see that was still in season one. But again, like another time, finally we see this Wooler's for Zareda again. Yeah, very very strong. So against another Zareda. Yeah, so basically this range is even higher than Claret. This is 9 mobility plus 4 range, so this is a 13 threatening range. Yeah, this is like, this is like crazy, yeah. Even you use Claret and even you, you triggered uh, 
uh, like police for clerics, you don't have that kind of threatening range. This is why, yeah, this is really why, like, uh, Thorida can still use this kind of build. Uh, this build, you will not be very effective when you try to kill other units. Like, a little bit more tanky units would survive that. Like a little but bit uh, it is a very, very that. strong way to actually, um, yeah, to actually counter another Zoreda. Yeah. So, I think uh, if Promises still wants to play Zoreda game, he has to ban this Zoreda or another Breeze Trigger. Wow. Yeah, you can see this threatening range now. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, this threatening range. So only one, two, three spots are not covered, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So only six spots in this map is not covered by this Dorada. Yeah, that's just uh, how crazy it is. Yeah, so it is crazy to the point uh, that even player 1 tries to create uh, a safer zone for Zareda, it is not very possible, like, yeah, like, uh, it's just, uh, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just uh, not possible to create a safe zone for this Zareda. You only have 7 mobility plus 2 range, and this guy has 10 mobility plus 4 range. Yeah, this is... This is the best method to counter like a player who don't like to pick a tank, I would say. So Yusuke needs to move again. Uh, very lucky, this Yusuke also got Breeze buff. So maybe he can kill this Zoreda now. Yeah, I think this is a kill. This Yusuke should be able to kill that Zoreda. But then, it is very hard to... okay. I, I kind of think uh, he should have tried to kill this Zareda instead of using to, you know, instead of using this transformation skill. Yeah, because this Zareda is going to fuck him hard. Uh, this Leon hard. Yeah, I think he's died. Second player already died here. This Leon hard can hit both this tail and uh, Yusuke, and then he can. This Leon hard can just uh, kill this. This tail. Or maybe kill this Yusuke even. And Detroit can just move here to. Okay. So this Detroit is using speed. Speed support to increase the mobility of Leonhard by one. So Leonhard can now move like five here. Yeah, Yusuke still killed this um, Zareda. But this Leon heart is very, very hard to deal with for second player. First kill on Leon heart. And another Tenorous hide on Yusuke. Wow, this game. This is the game of Tenor's Head. A Rinch Sword Leon Heart. Rinch Sword Leon Heart. So, GN33 really did a lot of investigate on the like, promises. Uh, I think he picked this uh, Leon Heart to use this Rinch Sword just to counter these promises. So, kill this tail. Yeah, this is what we talked about. But now Leonhard is in trouble. I think Yusuke can one shot this Leonhard now. Um, I don't think this is the right decision to use Zoreda to kill Leonhard. It's kind of weird. Because remember, this Yusuke also gets Breeze buff. If you use this Zoreda to kill that Leonhard, then this, uh, this Yusuke is going to kill that Yusuke. 
Yeah, I think it's a it's a terrible decision. Yeah, I mean, in this battle, Yusuke is definitely going to be more important than Zareda. There is no way this Zareda can kill that Yusuke. Um, so, yeah, you should actually protect your Yusuke um, instead of just protecting Zareda. Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. So, she can move again. Yeah, Yusuke is actually killed Zareda. Yeah, it's it's just that Yusuke is much better than Zareda in season 3. Um, yeah, like if Zareda versus Yusuke, there is no way Zareda can win over Yusuke. Wow, a lot of chance from GN33. Wow, this is what we always try to uh, learn, you know, how to take advantage of this, like, switching map and also switching the team. So GN33 did a lot of change. Uh, so he was removing, let's see what he removed. He removed the Iris, Luna, Angelina, Leonhardt, and the Varys. Uh, Varys. So basically he removed uh, like four of the high mobility character. So instead of going for rush strategy as a second player, GN33 is going to do a tank push strategy now. So if you are talking about tank push strategy, uh, this tail is very strong. Yulia is top tier, uh, Tiarius is top tier, right? So this is basically GN33 is changing his strategy from a rush strategy to a tank push strategy or star strategy. So this is basically what GN33 is doing here. And uh, because of that, he actually banned Zareda because Zareda is still the key for a meter team. Or if you want to rush, Zareda is very, very important. This is why his first ban here is actually Zareda. So his second band here is going to be Yulia and uh, Claret. Yulia is just a strong you know, tank push team. This is why she's banned. So I do think Promises made, made a mistake here because um, like it is very clear to me that second player is going for a tank push strategy, which means land use is the key character. So um, he really should have still banned land use here. And you can see there is a lot of synergy with Ladius, Mr. Knight, Listail, um, Richard, uh, Claret. These are all these uh, Ladius faction. It is super super clear to me that Gen33 is trying to play a stout team or a tank push strategy. So first the band Ladius should be a better option for him. Instead of first the band juggler. So first the player got land use and uh, uh, and uh, Angelina. Uh, I don't really think Angelina is strong in a tank push strategy. Yeah, I don't think Angelina is super super strong here. Uh, and also first the player Liana is a little bit weaker than second player Liana. Um, when you have Angelina and tends to use like Iris more, um, but Liana is fine also. So Yulia, yeah, very very strong still in a tank push team. The reason that I put Yulia a little bit lower in tier list is because, um, yeah, it's just because tank push is not that popular in season three. But if you still want to go for like tank push strategy, then Yulia is still a very very strong choice. And the Miss Knight is banned, which makes sense. So first the player is still trying to do a kind of a push team but not very strong so like he's like uh if you check this team um so there is a discrepancy in first uh in promises team here right this land use is go for a style strategy uh angelina instead is going for kind of a push strategy leon is like trying to rush um Detroit is trying to rush but she can be fine in a tank push strategy as well. Diana is for tank push strategy. But uh, yeah, Leon and Angelina here is not contributing that much. Uh, yeah, so I mean, with Leon and Angelina, like you cannot really successful, successfully, um, you know, ruin a push strategy. So, but if you are like, going for like a tank push strategy, then second player has Yulia has like Yusuke and Liana, 
this is definitely going to be a much better option for tank push. So yeah, I think after the pick and ban, player one already lost. But we can see what's what's going to happen again. And second player even has troop advantage. This land use is using a tree, um, a tree troop, yeah, tree guard. And this tree guard counters this um, cavalry land use. Yeah, he picked this map and keep the Leon in this box. Is I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Like this player is not clear on how he how he tries to win this battle. Like it's also very not consistent in this pick and ban. I don't really think land use feed promises box. Uh, I think he would rather kick out land use and and uh, and get ice tail. Yeah, get ice tail and even Omega in his box can be a little bit can be a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, and and actually check this gen thirty three. This Liana dies to Omega, right? Uh, Omega can triple Liana. This can triple this Liana. This use key you cannot. Uh, deterate you cannot. Yeah, uh, land use you can. I don't know. Yeah, but this Liana you can actually triple this Liana easily. Uh, if you are bringing a scale, right? So if you if you really you must like. Investigate this uh, this player. Uh, you can actually make some change to your box, but maybe not players get uh, Omega ready. Yeah. I was checking with Gen 33's um, character. Not all of his character have like scale enchantment, so just uh, something to keep in mind. So. Okay, Angelina jumps in and try to try to do something. Try to kill Liana. Should be able to kill actually. Yeah. But this is not over. Like uh, uh, second player without Liana is a little bit hard. But if you just uh, check these teams, uh, it's still it's still very hard for first player to win. Yeah, like. This trade is okay, but not uh, not game changing. Yeah, like this this uh, land use is already killing all these units here. None of these units can kill this land use. No, uh, and also this Yulia Yusuke. Yeah, it's just uh, very very hard. So Leon is going to... Oh, that's very lucky. But Leon cannot kill anyone here, very sadly. Like, none of these characters died to Leon. Maybe Dietrich, but we will see. Yusuke. That's a bad option. Yeah, I, I would try to kill this Dietrich here. If you can kill that Dietrich, then you still has a slightly chance. Yeah, no way you can kill a Yusuke. That's that's like joking. Like, it's really joking. It's just not possible. No, no, Zelda. How, how, how can you think Yusuke can be killed by Leon? It's not happening. Only character that can be can potentially be killed is that Dietrich. And if he killed that Dietrich, I do think he may have a chance. Then, because then second player will not have a, like, a healer. So... This troop is not very strong against the Leon, like, for sure. But Yusuke himself is very, very tanky. And also... Uh, I don't know what usually these players are wearing, but my Yusuke is going to have last right. So, this is a full health point Yusuke. Like, I'm going to use uh, last right on my Yusuke for sure. And there is no way Leon can kill Yusuke with last right. Yeah, this is really bad. Like, 
<laughs> these three characters just cannot deal enough damage to these three guard land use. Liana tries to kill, almost kill herself. Yeah, and then Yulia jumps in, uh, and that's over. First life is gone. Detroit here can jump in as well. Second life is gone. That's over. Game over. Yeah, we can check Yusuke's skill. I think he has a little bit more to work with. Um, let's just look at Yusuke. Because Yusuke is not in global, so we cannot actually check Yusuke in Chinese server. Yeah, as I said, this is pretty much the basic, like uh, the most common setup for Yusuke. So some players, they use uh, tennis height instead. So they can trigger more random buff, which is also useful. Like a lot of player in Chinese server, now they are using tennis height, uh, which can be fun. So for the accessory, uh, you can use actually Shin Guard. Yeah, you can use Shin Guard. So your Yusuke is very, very tanky. And uh, if you use that skill, so... Yeah, so when you have friendly units, um, defense and uh, attack both increase by 15%. So there is some like uh, increase in, in stats. And at that time, the early units, which is Liana, was killed. So for two turns, he also have another 10% increase for all of the uh, all of these stats, including defense. So this is why he's very very tanky. Um, yeah, and also you get this damage reduction from last red. So I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think. Uh, Leon can kill Yusuke that easily. There is no further damage, damage reduction, but a ton of increase in defense. And this Leon does not have a class advantage over Yusuke. This is why I think Leon cannot kill Yusuke. This, this defense here, this defense here, is not uh, showing when he's being attacked. So when being attacked, uh, he had like 900 defense or something like that. So that is going to be a little bit higher in that case. Yeah, but uh, I mean, even you can you can cancel out the damage increase. Uh, if you just uh, plug in the attack and defense value, his defense is also very, very high, right? This is why Leon cannot kill Yusuke. We can actually check if his use key is super super good. Let's see if we can see his use key here. No, we cannot see his use key. So he's in Celera server. Yeah, this is the Yeah, he's in Celera server, yeah. Okay. So the other battle is between uh Sherpa Wang and uh, this this another Mega Whale. So let's see how this battle goes. Yeah, we can check his attack a little later. So the first uh, map is this new map in season 3, which is a uh, Iceland map. So this player is running a very standard box. So I take my word back. He's using a very not standard box. So Gizlov and uh, Lamata, also Rini. So Rini here, yeah, very interesting. And uh, Shaba Wang here is using also Gizlov. Okay, so two of the best players in Chinese server are still using Gizlov. This is very interesting to see. Yeah, very very interesting. And also yes, we see reinforce. So we actually already see reinforce in like top eight battle. Uh, the thing is, his reinforce didn't really contribute much to a battle. So let's see how this reinforce is going to surprise us. So this game, this time, is a juggler versus a land use team. 
Which guy's box is easier to ban against Zelda? You think this player's box is a little bit easier? This Mega Veil? Using Maid as the avatar? You think his box is a little bit easier to ban? I think his box is a little bit easier to pick and ban. Both. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I have to check really how Gizalof works in this season. Uh, so far, I still didn't find Gizalof very, very surprisingly good. Uh, the thing is, like, when you have Gizalof and uh, Yusuke and also Juggler, then Gizalof can call Faction Buff. There is no healer for first player. Uh, very interesting. Second player's Zareda is going to be a, a Suicide Zareda, looks like. So second player has a lot of single target units here, whereas first player is going for... Uh, yeah... I don't like 3, three healer as well, but uh, Detroit is also one healer, so a lot of players consider Detroit as a full healer. She has both uh, Mass Heal and also Miracle C, so this is why she is also considered as healer by some of the player. Rune <laughs> is carrying Skeleton Knight, very interesting. And uh, there are double AoE scale here. There is no faction buff for Rini and Leon. Uh, there is a faction buff. Yusuke can, can call faction buff. So Gizalof is just a calling faction buff for Juggler. So this guy is going for 4 AoE team. Juggler use AoE to initiate. And then Leon Heart has double AoE. Yusuke can call faction buff. Rini has another 2 AoE. So this is basically a single target scale meta. So. Zareda is using a very standard Season 2 build, basically a standard Suicide Zareda, with Tiarius uh, using full heal, and uh, Archham will have faction buff from Basel, and also land use here. So second player needs to go back, yeah, second player needs to retreat, retreat back. Because he's really afraid of these AoE combos. Yeah, I think player 1 is very very strong. Uh, but I, actually player 2 is making a red decision. When your player, when first the player is going like that, um, you should really stay back. Yeah, stay back. Try to stay back and make sure his units cannot follow up. For example, Gizalov now cannot follow up. Runi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cannot follow up. Yeah, so this basically delays for one turn, and then uh, Zareda will try to find a chance. Well, I think it is not over, right? Because of second player is retreating, is moving back, player 1 didn't decide to jump this turn. Uh, and there is also no breeze triggered for this Zareda. So, yeah, I mean, it's still hard for player 2, that's right. So Rini already found a point to initiate the battle by using this land scale. Very, very high range land scale. So, the reason that he didn't teleport in is because his units cannot follow up. Um, if there is no breeze triggered by Juggler, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, his Juggler used to can only hit uh, Basel. Only one character can be hidden. And uh, if you teleport in Leon Hearts, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you move another 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, Leon Hart can still attack most of the characters though. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Maybe Leon Hart should teleport in. Yeah, I, I tell you again that 
you don't trust me, but I tell you, Chinese server has has not the uh, you know as comparable in chance as global server. There is the other thing that they say. Uh, some of the Chinese players say global server indeed have better rates in enchanting. I, I don't know if that's true, but a uh, lot of you know Chinese players, including the Wales, are complaining about the you know the enchantments uh, in Chinese server. They think they get a very terrible rate. But I don't know if that's true. But the fact is that uh, yeah, they do have they do have a little bit worse enchanting. Cloud Leon Hard. This should still be a kill, okay? So Rini is now going to do something here. Uh Gizlov is going to cast another AoE. Oh, so Gizlov looks like he's a counter to character like Archan, at least. Yeah, so second player still looks pretty tight here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very hard for second player now. Um, this AoE attack just uh, too strong. So Yusuke got triggered. Uh, this is just uh, going to push back all the characters into the poison area. And uh, because they stay in water, they can actually not move that much. So these Tiarius can only move one spot now. Yeah, Rini is actually pretty decent, I would say. It's not that terrible, at least. Uh, I, I do think you can find a spot for her. So Yusuke just uh, killed Bazo, which is an easy kill. So uh, also Rini triggered a cloud. Another AoE from Gizlov. Very, 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 very good show showcase for Gizlov and uh, Rini. So Rini is going to use another AoE here to push back all these character for one spot again. Yeah, they, they looks very tired. They looks very tired. Okay. Yeah, there is no way he can come back from this battle. So second battle, wow, Shoba Wang also put up Rini, and he also put up uh, um, he also put up Ritual. So this is going more for kind of a tank push strategy. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of enhancing both. And the second player also made some change. Uh, he's putting Yulia and also Tiarius. So this is very very interesting because players actually are switching bugs over battles. This was not very popular, you know, or common in previous round. But in this round, it looks like they definitely are more prepared, um, like much better prepared. So second player put up Yulia and uh, Tiarius. This is asking for tank push strategy. Uh, first, the player also put in Ritual, which is also strengthening like the tank pool strategy a little bit as well. So first, the player go with Gizlov team and uh, with with Tiarius, and second player go with Juggler and uh, Iris. Very very aggressive still. So Gizlov is banned. Can you believe that third ban is Gizlov? 
Yeah, I would still just ban Yusuke. Like I, I would definitely ban Yusuke over Gizalov there. Yeah, like I understand Gizalov can call faction buff for Yusuke and Juggler, but I would rather ban Yusuke instead of um, Gizalov. So here, Rennie is picked. This is a full legend team with Lanius, Mr. Knight, and uh, Rennie. Hopefully he can get uh, reinforced the next the last pick. Yeah, this is going to be a full showcase for Legend faction. Yeah, reinforce is picked. Very interesting to see. So this Lamata and uh, uh, Clarets all have no faction buff. Yeah, this is really a trouble. Like I don't think I think there is a, there is some problem with this buffs. Yeah, it's like these characters. Especially Lamata, I don't know what Lamata is doing here. It's just uh, it's not like Lamata is a is a bad character. Nothing is helping Lamata in this box. Only Kizilov and Lambius can call faction buff. Uh, Kizilov is pretty weak himself. Um, and uh, you know, when I see Lamata, I always first ban Lambius, right? Um, so I don't know what Lamata is doing here. How? Oh. Very interesting, this reinforce is using summary as the truth. So this is basically when you attack as a melee attack, attack will be increased by 20%. So very interesting. And uh, yeah, it's basically the AoE scale, star step, and another AoE scale. Um, use key is called infection buff, turret is has no faction buff. Iris has Iris Ali teleport, uh, Juggler has no faction buff. This Lamata is using Dwarf, yeah, this is the Dwarf Archer. Dwarf Sniper, I mean. So Yusuke is calling faction buff. Yeah, this is a full legend team, very strong. So personally, I think uh, Reinforce is a little bit stronger than Neon Heart, but we will see. So Lamata already initiated the battle by using a LAN AoE scale. This is basically triple AoE, right? Two of the AoE have three turn cooldown, one of the AoE has five turn cooldown. <laughs> so these two characters just uh, cast AoE on each other. They have very similar AoE range also. Iris teleport for Lamada. So there is a land AoE skill on Lamada. And she got silenced. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah. That's basically game over for second player. Silence for two turns and this Iris has no has any like has nothing to dispel. Let's just a look at this debuff. One, two, three, four, five. There's five debuff, that looks weird. So this throw gives two debuff, and then Rini's talent gives two debuff. So that's four debuff. So there must be something else. Let me check. Oh yeah, there is also a miracle. There is also a miracle band. Hi Yuki. So Yusuke used the transformation scale. Yeah, so basically this really just to make Lamata not useful for two turn, uh, which is exactly the turn when uh, when she received this Iris teleport. I think this player should have teleport Lamata back. Make sure she's not in a range of Rini. So shield for land use um, and also triggered a breeze for reinforce. So second player has no other choice. His juggler needs to jump in this turn. Yeah, to be honest, I think that um, yeah, I really think that silence is very critical. 
Yeah, if this Rainy didn't silence Lamata here, then this AoE combo from Juggler and, and Lamata is going to be... Yeah, it's going to kill this Reinforce. Uh, I don't know if he can kill other characters, but this Reinforce is definitely going to be killed. So right now it's very easy to solve the problem. Basically, here is just the heal spike. And another AoE from Juggler. This looks very similar to me. I remember some of the earlier game that this guy played used the similar strategy here. But because he's missing one of the AoE skill here, this juggler cannot kill anyone here. And Mr. Knight can just finish killing this juggler. This is so critical, that silence. I do believe if this, like, if the silence is not triggered, then this guy could have won the second battle. So there is a little bit of RNG here. Ah, Clara is just a suicide. Yeah, like... That silence is too critical for him. So, uh, land use is killed now. So, reinforce used the AoE skill, killed Lamata here. And Yusuke killed Mr. Knight. Very, very tanky reinforce. Yeah, and uh, okay, so here, if Ryusuke can kill Rinny, then second player has a chance here. Should be able to kill Rinny, yes. Well, this is, well, this is in Denver. Yeah, second player, first player is now in Denver. But second, but first player here, Shoba Wang, his reinforce only has four star. He needs seven star to really move again. So we will see what's happening again. Star stab and teleport back. That's nice. So next turn, he can potentially move again. So Reinforce can only deal a little bit damage to Yusuke. But Yusuke cannot kill Reinforce when he's not in transformation stage. Yeah, this looks very dangerous now. Because Reinforce is, has like 7 star now. Yeah, Shoba One is going to win. Yeah, probably. And now he can move again because there is seven star now. And this move again basically kills Yusuke. Well, not he wasted his scale. It's like uh, he he can move again. I mean, very nice showcase for reinforce. Okay, so now Shoba won't come back in this battle. Yeah. Well, another <laughs> very significant change. So, Reinforce is getting kicked now. So, Reinforce and Gizlov is getting kicked and the uh, Wailer is, is moved up. Uh, yeah, these, these people, these crazy people, they built so many characters. 
Yeah, Bolt Ranger sucks. They have no damage at all. So whereas this uh, this player, he tried to seek some change here. Uh, he selected this map, so Joshia can be very good. And also he's using. Uh, he kicked out. Uh, yeah, he kicked out this. Um, yeah, Yulia basically. So so he's going to rush for this time. Yeah, he's he's going for a rush strategy this time. Yulia and Tiarius, the two characters that are best for tank push strategy, are getting kicked. And then instead, Luna and Joshia, uh, both are very good for like rush strategy, are added to this box. But I think uh, what is missing here is like, uh, if he has a very good uh, Austrial, then his then his box can be very very powerful. This Lamata still like I. I don't know what to say, but Lamata, it's just uh, no one can call faction buff for her. Maybe she can work without a faction buff. Uh, just need to be very careful, cause if she is silenced, then she cannot be any use. So second player Shaba Wang is trying to go for land use. I don't understand this Liana pick. What's going on here? Why, why he's picking Liana? I think his best bet. Is to not pick any healer, just to go with like juggler, uh, Joshia, you know, juggler, Joshia, this tail, Rini, Claret, and also Luna, and also Lamata. Try to pick these characters, like, and just finish this guy, uh, very fast. Basically, how he went game one. I think it is working, it is really, really working. Yeah, I don't understand this Liana pick. Oh, he... yeah, you know, this is this is something you don't you don't want to do. Uh, so second player is definitely uh, forcing him to play a tank push strategy, and he makes a very aggressive box to have double tank. Yeah, like the time when you have double tank against a, a Tiarius land use, you are really lost here. There's no way. You can do anything to a Tiarius with land use. Yeah, it's and you don't have a Tiarius yourself, so you are really lost here. Yeah, like after this pick and ban, it's over, it's done, it's over, finished. Land use Tiarius plus Ritual. This is done, this is over. So he can still get Luna to reduce the magic attack a little bit. So Lamata with land use, uh, that's fun. So the second player got Rini. So they both have some AoE power here. Uh, I would really try to get Luna for player one, uh, just because you know everything left for player two are magic, right? Detroit here is going to be picked of uh, exactly Valor. Yeah, but you know Luna is such a good counter to magical attack. Uh, it is not like I don't like. Uh... It's just that uh, now you only have two AOE, so your AOE power is not going to be enough. And uh, in this case, I don't think Lamata is actually a better choice than Luna, right? You have Luna, then your juggler can also call faction buff, maybe, right? So Luna can have faction buff. Then I would say if you have Luna, Yusuke, and Landius. Then maybe you still have a chance to kill this land use. And if you can kill that land use, you can win, right? Right now, it's just uh, this Tyrius attack blessing ritual is very powerful against you. Yeah, the best healer for a tank full strategy is going to be Tyrius. Yeah, this attack blessing, attack blessing ritual, attack blessing, uh, let's say, uh, Yulia, yeah, attack blessing Yulia, attack blessing Yusuke, very, very strong. Uh, why? Yeah, I, maybe someone can help me understand. I don't understand, uh, I don't understand this Lamata pig in the first place, 
I also don't understand why Liana has to cast again on Lamada. This is basically saying hi to your enemy, you know, I want to give you my turn advantage. So, yeah, this is, I don't know, this is not working well. Yeah, this is what I said, Zelda. When I check his box, I feel like he should go AoE strategy. But somehow, somehow, his second pick was Liana, which is not useful at all. This Liana costs the game, right? This Liana basically kills him. Like, why? Why are you again Lamada in in turn one? In in round one? It's not it's not helping. And also yeah, and also like uh, he has a lot of AoE characters and he pick uh, Landius and then Liana and then Juggler. Yeah, it's something something I don't understand. There is something wrong here. Yeah, this is basically, uh, like this first player is like, uh, uh it's like, uh, you know, I'm as surprised as Sigma picks like this land use plus juggler. If Sigma do a game against me and he's using land use plus juggler, I know I will win. Like, it's just that your box doesn't fit this kind of style. So then use is calling faction buff here. <laughs> Chakra needs to stay back now. Lamata needs, needs to stay back now. And there's nowhere to hide. Rini is coming. So Richard comes first. And this is a clock ritual. Rini is using land skill again. Very, very effective. And another clock. Wow. This is crazy clock. But to be honest, the second player can just win this battle even without that many clock. Okay, Lamata cast a one AoE scale, which will cost nothing because Wither can just max nice heal. And they are back to full heal spawns. And then Juggler jumps in, which will deal some damage, and then it's going to be. It's going to be. Yeah, really another AoE scale kills Liana. No, Liana survived with. Let's check. Another club. So Liana here survived, barely survived, basically. Uh, I have no idea. The global release on skin is totally depends on, you know, it's totally random. That's what I would say. So Wither, yeah, is retreating all characters and. Uh, they are back to full heal spawns, and there is nothing else they can follow up now. So that's basically the end of this game for player 1. There is nothing else he can follow up now. Global skin is kind of random. Like, we are having summer skin in winter time, right? It's very random, yeah. I have no idea when they will release this ritual skin. Only thing I can tell is that it will finally come to global server, probably. Wow, this is just a too much for player man. So ironically, second player used the AoE to finish um, player one. Yeah, like this second player has a better tank full strategy team, but uh, his his character just a clock and clock and clock and clock. So he actually finished first player with AOE. Yeah, that's kind of very ironic.
on the other hand, there is nothing like uh, she's for sure she's using her special gear, right? But there is nothing triggered. So when she like when she attacks two targets here, there should be a 20% chance uh, that triggers a cloud, right? So but nothing happens. So it's just a kind of bad luck, maybe. Well, second player win costs great RNG, but I, I think this team is much better, you know, compared to first player as well. Like, there is no lake of heal, right? Ritual can attack and heal. This is one heal, and then Tiarius has mass heal, which can cast up for every two turns. And then Wither has mass heal and also technical retreat. Yeah, I don't think uh, this AoE is enough to kill this team. And the uh, Vader has faction buff. Uh, Tiarius, you know, healing is usually enough. And also there is another heal from Ritual. So it's really, it's really like, I don't think this uh, AoE is enough for player one. Yusuke can kill Lanius without, yeah. But I mean, Lanius has double life, right? And I always, I always think uh, like when you play a tank full strategy, Tiarius is like very, very strong. Yeah, I mean, if you really compare the difference between player 1 and player 2, is that player 1 has Liana, but player 2 is having um, Tiarius plus Valor. So the healing power is very, uh, in, is very important in a tank pool strategy. And there is also a, a mistress move from player 1, is he used Liana in turn 1, which is not something I understand. Yeah, it's just uh, too many clouds for player 2. Icelandius. <laughs> That's very funny. Icelandius. So Wheeler is suiciding and uh, at the same time uh, he will basically remove this debuff of these uh, characters. Yeah. And then this is over. Okay. okay um. Logging on. Yeah, so lucky maybe you can check. There's something I don't understand in this game. There is like something I think uh, fundamentally wrong. Um, like we can go back to turn one. There is some move that I don't understand. So they basically are setting up here. And uh, here, 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 here. So... This is second turn. Yeah. So here, at the end of turn one, this player is using a clock. Yeah, you can remove ice debuff. 
non-dispellable is only puzzle sleep. Everything else is dispellable. So like this bothers me a lot. So here you can see basically this is the first round and they are just a second up. And then um and then this player and then this player just used Diana to cloud Lamada. Do you understand why first player has to cloud this Liana here? Is this because he wants to become second player? Like he wants to move the last. I don't I don't really understand this move to be honest. Uh, I can only take it as like uh, he's thinking about something that happens two turns later, like in turn four maybe, uh, and then he becomes like second player and then he has Liana, so around, two, around turn 4, so then he can, you know, have some combo. This is something that I can only explain this way, but it's just, uh, it still feels like uh, um, it's not a, a perfect decision to again in turn 1. Yeah, but if you if you want to AOE, it makes no difference if you just AOE the next uh, uh, like the following turn because second player becomes um, player one now. In this case, I think his objective is try to become player two. Yeah, yeah, but this move, <laughs> this move in the end actually kills him. Yeah. Now, uh, it's basically from Lenny's three cost skill. It is, uh, it immunes the pushback. Angelina can also not push back Lenny's. So let's back to this game. There is something we need to figure here. Why Leon cannot kill, uh, Yusuke? I, I think uh, Leon should never kill that like, Yusuke there. But, uh, let's see. Just to make sure. So yeah, basically Jin33 did a very good research on promises and uh, bringing uh, Wooler's Bowser right out with Catapult and having a huge threatening range and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just a very very good strategy to certain players. If you meet Newbie or Zikama, uh, you know, players who like to pick uh, the radar first, uh, you can always have this kind of Zerida to counter them as well. So one thing we were having trouble is Leon, why Leon can kill that Yusuke? Cannot kill, I mean. So here this Yusuke this Yusuke here has this, oh, yeah, he's in Trey now. This Yusuke is also in Trey. This is because the buff from, um, from Deterate, yeah, from Deterate. This Yusuke is in Trey now. So there is a further 20% increase from this defense. Um, and also, there is also his talent that can increase 10% of the defense. And also he's in transformation, so there is another 20% increase from for his for his defense. Now after transformation, no, there is no further increase. So basically, 20% plus 10% increase in defense. Yeah. So this Leon has a hundred and a thousand and eight hundred attack. So this is indeed a little bit low, but this is Chinese server, so that can be easily understandable. Yeah, it's not even close to kill. You would need uh, a lot more damage there. Uh, no, these troops are heavy infantry. It's an infantry class troop, they just uh, have a skin for that troop.
uh, it's heavy infantry. Very, very. I don't understand why people bring that at all. I don't. I don't really like. I don't really like them. Um, but they are this troop here. It's just uh, this heavy infantry. Yeah, this troop. So it's very, very interesting. Okay. So that's all about uh, this battle. This is. Uh, these are steaming finals. So tomorrow at 7 a.m. Uh, is going to be the final. So I will try to wake up and see if I can stream that uh, final final battle. Yeah, but this is going to be 7 a.m. Eastern time. So if you are awake uh, at that time, maybe you can join my stream tomorrow. So I'm going to stop here and see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Yeah, Shobao Wang isn't the real Shobao Wang. Uh, he's played by God K, God K this time. Another very famous Chinese player. Yeah.